Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about how to build and deploy this Spring Boot application on AWS ECS that is Elastic Container Service. Okay, so I would like to discuss about so this um, AWS ECS architecture. Okay, so what we need to do is we have to create one container image. Okay, once you have built this container image, you can choose your container architecture either either like uh, Amazon ECS or EKS. Okay. So we need a AWS Fargate here. Okay, so what is AWS Fargate? So it's a compute engine for Amazon Elastic um, Amazon Elastic Container Service. Okay, that allows you to run containers without having to provision and configure and scale the clusters of VMs that host container applications. Okay, so basically what it will does is you know you know you no need to be create the EC2 instances at all. So in fact, the user don't need to use um, EC2 instances at all. So Fargate itself will act as a compute engine. So it lets you to focus on the elements like designing and constructing your applications. So instead of managing the infrastructure that you runs them, so the Fargate launch type, okay, all you need to do is you can um, you can do is a package your application in containers and specify the memory and CPU requirements, define and you can define the IAM policies and you can launch your application that's it okay so from there you can launch the containers and you can manage the containers so I need to create so this is my Spring Boot application guys which will have a simple controller okay I have one endpoint which will return one simple string okay and I have a docker file so that docker file will have uh, that uh, JDK version and the path of the jar file and I have entry point to execute the Spring Boot application and I need to create the one docker image here okay to use on AWS ECS okay let me create docker image first so I'm going to create the docker image docker build so I'm going to use this name okay and my docker hub username this one let me paste this and hit enter okay so it's created guys so now i'm going to push to my docker repository docker push and my username okay that's it so it's going to push the repo uh, push this docker image on my repository okay so once it is successfully push push it to my repository i'm going to fetch that docker image from that docker hub okay so it's successfully push you guys so let me check my docker hub okay so this is my docker hub repository yeah it's done guys so it's successfully pushed to this my docker repository so let me yeah so now what we need to do is you can just open this so this this image name we want on amazon ecs okay this is our so home page guys so i need to choose my ecs so that is so we have like different type of container services here one is elastic container registry and elastic container service and elastic kubernetes service so i'm going to use this elastic container service okay so if you want to use um, this elastic container repository you can use this container repository you can put your uh, docker images in this repository but i am going to use the docker hub here okay so i will show you like how to use the docker hub images inside this okay so this is the home page guys so what you need to do is you can click on this get started okay so we we will have um, one diagram here okay diagram of ecs objects here so we have like container definition so that whatever that, that containers that we have created here so basically a docker container is a standardized unit of software development and uh, containing like everything that your software application needs to run the code and runtime system tools and system libraries so these containers are created from the read only template called a container image right um, so to coming to the task definitions so a task definition is a text file in a JSON format so that describes one or more containers that 
form your application so you can think of it's a blueprint of your application okay so coming to the service so our application will create the service okay so we will use that service okay and coming to the cluster so basically what is cluster so a cluster is basically the logical grouping of resources that your application needs so if you use fargate a launch type with a task so within the cluster then amazon acs manages your cluster resources okay i will explain so how can create the uh, task and how to create this clusters and i will explain everything here guys so here we have like container definitions we have to choose okay uh, this either you can use a simple app or ng inx and tomcat web server or custom okay so if you choose this sample application so it will provide um, one sample application okay um, so coming to this nginx if you want to use this nginx okay so you can use this nginx controller so if you want to deploy your var file so you can choose this tomcat web server coming to the custom so you can go to this configure button so here we will have so container name and image name and we have some memory limits so here we have to specify our docker image name okay let me copy this so let me paste here so remove this tag name guys and here what you need to do is docker dot ivo that's it so here you can choose hard limit and quite all and port mappings i'm just taking 8080 so i'm mapping through 80 okay now so we have advanced container configurations as well so so if you want to add like health check configurations environment related configurations you can add here okay so environment variables if you want to add like anything specific to the environment variables you can add here and container timeouts and network settings so we have like um, storage and logging configurations okay so i don't need this advanced container configurations here okay so let me minimize this and you can just update so it's updated with my docker image information here you can so here we have a task definition so is a blueprint for your application right so and describes and one more one or more containers through this attributes so we have a task definition name and network mode and task execution role and compatibilities and task memory okay which will have like task cpu and you can just click on next button okay so the service name saying that custom service okay so if you want load balancer you can choose application load balancer but i'm not going to use this load balancer here you can just click on next button okay and click next okay it will shows the all the information that we have given here so the port number and the protocol and just click on create button okay so it will take like um, uh, 10 minutes time guys okay let's wait for that guys now this task has been created successfully so now we need a cluster to run this task okay so go to this clusters okay so click on this create cluster so you can choose this cluster type here so i'm just checking this networking only okay and provide some name here so i'm going to take spring boot so ecs and click on create so it will create the cluster so you can just click on this view cluster so here we have services and task and ecs instances you can click on this task okay so click on this run new task so i'm going to take this launch type as forget and so this is our task definition so if you have like multiple task definition you can choose here and this is revision and so the cluster so this is spring boot tcs and number of tasks and task group and cluster vpc you can choose this cluster vpc and subnets 
and coming to the security groups you can just go and edit here and provide here spring all access and all tcp and add one more rule all traffic okay you can just click on save and run the task okay so this task status you can see here so that is last status is provisioning okay so click on refresh so basically this cluster is basically the logical group of resources that your application needs so if you use this forget launch type with this task uh, within the cluster then amazon ecs manages your cluster's resources okay so it is showing now pending yeah it's running now open so see this status running and go to this public ip address you can just copy this and open new tab and our port number is 8080 just click hit enter okay something is went wrong so what is the status so let me refresh again so 8080 yeah so it started now our endpoint is welcome so let's hit welcome endpoint so we got the output hello guys okay so this is how you can deploy your spring boot application on uh, aws ccs guys okay so if you like this video so Go ahead and like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching.